<laughs> what a we got a vlog going. You already know who it is. Vlog. You already know. You already Go know Bulls, who it is. Baby. We're back at it again. Eagles flying high. You already know who it is. One, two, three. It's yes, signing day. Not game day today. Not game day. But it's signing Something day. Something a little different. Something a little different. Switching it up. Let's go. Let's, Let's, get, it. Prep. Let's get it, baby. Let's have a great day. God bless every single one. For those of you that know, the baseball team is very near and dear to my heart. So seeing these guys off has been and will be um, awesome to see what they do within their postseason. Um, we're really excited for them, and we're hoping that and maybe we're going to do it again in the spring, and hopefully we'll have a couple more baseball players signing as well as um, some other athletes. So I'm not going to take much time up here because I know Coach Jamuli would like to speak, uh, but I am going to introduce Ms. Diarmas, who's our principal, so she can just speak quickly and... We'll keep going. So be very quick. First of all, congratulations Thank to you. all three of you, and congratulations to all of your parents for an incredible feat. Listen, there is nothing like being able to play that sport that you love, right? And go into a school that you love, yes. <laughs> but then to be able to say, hey, I got a scholarship for something that I love, and I'm going to be able to you know, move on depending on whatever you want to do in life, right? So I think that um, what they're accomplishing in this day and age is, an, it is incredible, and I'm very, very proud of them because it takes a lot of hard work. So I want to say thank you to Coach G for being an amazing mentor and coach, and to the athletic department we have here, you know, obviously our athletic director, Coach Zan Leone. We have Ms. Kelly White. And we have Ms. Gittin from Brace and people that are just devoted to ensuring that your students get the optimum opportunities. So I'm really proud of you and I'm really excited for all you parents and for the journey that you're getting ready to take with your kids. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming today. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Today is one of those days all parents look forward to seeing one of their baby's dreams come true. Signing a letter of intent to not only get an education, but also to continue playing the sport they love. Only a select few get to move on and play college baseball. Only 9% of all high school players get an opportunity to play. 91% of their other high school baseball players' dreams will come to an end at the end of their school playing days. For parents, today is right up there with seeing their son graduate, get married, giving birth to grandchildren. Today, dreams come true for three of our players. Dreams that were developed years ago when they fell in love with this game. As we celebrate the, these accomplishments, I also want to say thank you today. Thank you, parents, for allowing your son to come to Terravella and trusting me in your son's baseball career. Thank you, parents, for supporting your son with pitching and hitting lessons. Thank you, parents, for spending money on personal trainers. Thank you, parents, for spending the money to allow your son to play travel ball. Thank you, parents, for taking off work during the summer to attend travel ball games. Thank you, parents, for spending your Saturdays at car washes, hanging banners at the field, building bullpens, or hanging batting cage nets at the field. No other sport works on your field like baseball does. No other sport fundraises over $50,000 and spends money on their own facility like baseball does. We are the only sport that does, doesn't just show up and play as it takes hours upon hours to prepare our field for games, and without your help, none of that would be possible. Thank you, parents, for all you've done at Terravella, so for supporting the program and allowing me to be a small impact on this amazing journey. It takes a village to be in this small 9% priority. So on behalf of administration, the athletic department, and the coaching staff, congratulations, mom, dad, grandparents, aunts, and uncles. And thank you for all you have done in our time together. Now let's celebrate with these stars of today, Javi Miranda, Indian River State. <laughs> Javi came here as a 5'5", 110-pound ninth grader that couldn't do more than two push-ups. Said he was a shortstop but could barely make a throw in the hole or hit a ball out of the infield. Javi is leaving here as a 6'1", 180-pound pitcher that scouts are calling and asking about as he now throws in the low 90s and turned at least 71 scholarships down. Congratulations, Javi and parents. Jay Burns came here as a ninth grader that was one of the top prospects in his class and had opportunities to play at every private school, probably for free. But his dad and I go way back, we were Creek Dogs, and he trusted me that I'd take care of his son. Well, EJ made that easy as he has started every game on varsity since he came here. EJ will leave a legacy on Trojan baseball as he probably will break some career records this year. EJ is a true gamer and will continue to leave his mark at Florida Gulf Coast University. Congratulations, EJ. Anthony 
Quigley came here as a sophomore as he didn't get in the first time applying for reassignment. <clears throat> Lucky for us, his parents were persistent and got him in the next year. I'm so thankful for all these gray hairs he has given me over the last few years. I was, I was once told the easy thing to do is get rid of a kid. The hardest thing to do is to mentor, teach, coach, and support young players. It hasn't always been easy for him, me, and or his parents, as he has had ups and downs. But the one thing that stayed constant was his support system and communication. He's starting to figure it out and has the body and tools to be a big leaguer one day. On Monday, his family hosted a New York Yan Yankees area scout for a house visit. Yesterday, two other area scouts came to watch him practice and also started asking questions about three other players in our program. Today, another area scout and his cross tracker are coming to watch him. Right now, Anthony is projected to go in rounds four through eight in the amateur baseball draft and might not even make it to the University of South Florida. I'm so happy for Anthony and his family as all the patience, hard work, and giving him and others in our program the opportunity to be seen by every major league organization. Congratulations, Anthony. <laughs> All right, signing day is, uh, you know, we signed. You know what I'm saying? We're about to go to college. Got my dogs. In Coming there. to an end. Signing my hat didn't come in. Last. I'm a little upset about that. It's whatever, though. That's it, you know. Signing day's over. You know, next up, spring season. David going to be there in Key West. Key West about to be a movie. Facts. Man. Movie. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, 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 and subscribe. Key West is going to be crazy. That video, we gonna, when you drop that video, that be I bet. Not for press on top. On top. See you. <laughs>